Okay, in this episode, so excuse me, I've got the hiccups today. We're going to talk about Catch Me If I Fall by Barry Johnsberg. Now, this one's a little bit different, so usually I will do an entire video spoiler free, but this book I can't really talk about without spoiling the biggest plot reveal of the entire book. So, basically, about, you know, a third of the way in, a massive thing I didn't see coming, even though the book's, you know, stated to be sci-fi. I was just expecting, like, oh yeah, the, the mums are um, into, you know, AI and, you know, the aliens are gonna, whatever. The, the robots are gonna rebel. That was what I was expecting. Mm. Anyway, so the second half of this video will contain spoilers for Catch Me If I Fall by Barry Johnsberg. So we're going to go and we're going to start with the no spoilers and then I'll do a cut and so then, you know, you can stop watching. <laughs> so, you know, that is the biggest con that this book has. It's, no matter what I say, it's a really big spoiler. I can't really talk about the book itself because, you know, it's written for kids. But God, is it good. Um, like, I'd happily put this in a, you know, primary school library. It's an easy read, relatively low themes. Um, it's futuristic without being dystopian, which I really enjoyed. It's also Australian. Like, there are very few books that are Australian that don't suck. Australi Australian literature, the genre itself, is terrible. I can't, I can't stand it. <laughs> and so when I'm looking for good, you know, just generic teen literature, you know, adult literature, just generic, you know, reality-based books, there's nothing Australian. They're the trash. So I was really excited because this one's based, I believe, up in Brisbane and it's, you know, got a few dystopian things going on, like um, child limits, fake trees, AI taking over the world. That's a joke, okay? The AI isn't taking over, it's just learning and is much more prominent than today. So. That's literally all I can say without spoiling it. So I'm going to cut here. There'll be a slide. And after that slide, there will be spoilers for this book. Hello again. So um, I lied about that first cut being spoilers. Uh, so I actually didn't talk about the ratings and why that was any good. So this book got a 9 out of 10. It was juvenile, but really, really good. Um, a great introduction to what a story what I believe a story should be like, no matter who's reading it. It's unique, it's surprising, and yeah, 9 out of 10, the only thing I could really fault was I think there was a few just generic young children issues. I can't remember. Um, I think it was the fact that it's not well known, or, you know, language issues. I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I've read it. <laughs> anyway. The next thing will be the, the spoilers. Yeah. Okay, spoilers for Catch Me If I Fall by Barry Johnsberg. The fact that, you know, I didn't guess that the dog, so the main character gets a pet dog. I didn't realize that the dog was actually a robot. And the, the mum works for this, like, big corporate, you know, creating top secret AI stuff. But the biggest thing that got me, the absolute biggest thing, did not expect, was the twin brother. There was nothing to hint at it, but everything clicks, and they are my favourite ever. It's the, like, and that, and that, and that, and that. And everything just fits! Anyway, so I really enjoyed this book. 